Hi there, this is Alvin with Kickstart Commerce, and I'm back today with another video tutorial showing you how to uh, change your web hosting uh, domain. And so in GoDaddy, there is um, I actually have an old customer that I'm decommissioning their server. Rather, I'm going to repurpose it um, to use it uh, for my own personal use. And so they've is actually a great customer relationship uh, that I had for seven years, but they've moved on um, to bigger and better things. And so that is uh, good for them. Yet, now what do I do with this old server? So I could delete uh, the actual web hosting service, but I'm going to choose to repurpose the domain name. And what I mean by that is essentially here, once you log into your GoDaddy account and you have, uh, you'll be shown web hosting, go ahead and click to expand and you'll be shown uh, the various accounts that you uh, manage. And so in this instance, I was managing the company's name was bombstopper.com. Uh, matter of fact, they just released their website. Um, and so um, if you're a man, you shave, and I definitely recommend you go into their site. Or if you're a lady um, and you shave your legs, and then they actually have uh, products there um, for both men and women. And they are reasonable, reasonably priced, and they're based out of Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Nevada. Nevertheless, um, I digress, but um, this is the economy, classic hosting um, Linux. And so if you have uh, cPanel, um, or Ultimate Web, or Deluxe Web hosting any of the newer web services with GoDaddy, um, you'll, probably, you'll end up having to log into the cPanel and change your domain. But this tutorial is actually just going to focus on the economy classic hosting um, it's a Linux plan and how do you change it so go ahead and click manage and so we're just going to focus on changing how do we get it to change from bumpstopper.com to um, a new domain and so once you arrive here it'll show you all the hosting details in here in your options and settings uh, there is an option here up under the settings tab. It is called um, hosted domains and domain change primary. This is the setting that will allow you to go and change the primary domain name from whatever it is that you have currently to the new domain name. Um, essentially, clicking this button takes you to hosted. So for the sake of this example, we'll go ahead and click Domain Change. It will then show us all the domains that are hosted on this package. You can tell that this is the primary based upon that star. And so what you're going to do is select that. And be sure to not have already added the new domain in here. If you do that, you will not be able to change the primary to the specified domain name. So just make sure it's... Um, only the primary that's in there. So select it, click change primary, and for this example I'm just going to use one of my domains, uh, domainreviews.net, and obviously if you're changing your account's primary domain it may cause problems with your website if you still have the website up. Because this customer, um, well previous customer, um, has actually moved on to another service provider. Um, I'm not even going to worry about it. Plus, I've already backed up the website and the uh, database, the previous site. So I don't have to really worry about that. But if you were working with a live site, you definitely want to back up this site, uh, take it down um, accordingly, and then place your new domain in there. And then you click Yeah, OK. It says this domain's DNS is not under our control and must be manually changed to point uh, to your hosting account server uh, and your web, your website cannot launch until this takes place. And that's okay because I don't necessarily have a website that's under, um, that's currently even developed. So there in the lower right hand corner you can see successfully submitted name change and obviously it's pending the change. 
once uh, the change has been successfully made, you will receive an email and this name that you see there, domain name reviews or whatever your domain is, domain reviews.net will begin to appear here instead of uh, I'm sorry. So it takes anywhere from zero to 24 hours. I'll click refresh just to see. Yeah, so it's not um, going to take place here with the next, uh, like I said, zero to 24 hours. So it's going to take a little time. So with that, I mean, that's about it. And then when you go to, um, you know, when you go back to your products and you go there, then you see domainreviews.net is now that uh, main or primary uh, domain name. You can go back in to manage. And voila, you can see no longer says uh, bump stopper. Um, obviously, you still have to go in and change all of your FTP users if you were using um, a part of the domain name as that. But outside of that, everything has been changed. Uh, you can see it says the host name is domain name domainreviews.net. And we'll go to primary again, and it's probably still pending. That's okay. It'll set up and in a nutshell, that's really all that there is to changing your primary uh, domain name um, from an old name to a new name for an economy hosting uh, plan for GoDaddy. And that's it. So uh, do visit kickstartcommerce.com and look on the right hand side. I encourage you to subscribe. Uh, to the newsletter as well as click the Facebook like page or rather the like box uh, to like our Facebook page and with that that will conclude this tutorial thanks see you on the next time